Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, let's come to the discussion of the virus and threat protection scans. So we talked to you about the virus and threat protection and how you can scan your computer for malware or viruses. Now you might say, okay, um, my software found a virus or malware um, is uh, you know, a scan and a removal from the software good enough? Is this okay if I scan and I find a malware and it removes it and then everything seems to be okay afterwards? Am I truly clean of viruses? This is where it gets very tricky. Malware comes in different forms and some of them are really low-grade, very basic malware that once it's removed by the antivirus, it's gone and your PC is okay. And there's those that are much more complex will actually uh, be like a squid. It's going to actually spread its, um, you know, different arms everywhere inside your system. It will spread itself in different folders. And that might be more complex. How do you know that you really have cleaned your system and have no more malware or viruses? Uh, anybody that tells you, yeah, yeah, I know that it's clean and it's okay, um, is lying. You have no real 100% um, sure way of knowing that it's okay and everything's fixed. That's why prevention is the best thing. You never want to have your antivirus tell you that malware is on your system. That's why we have security updates, and that's why being careful on the Internet is important. But if you do, for some reason, get a malware, get viruses on your PC, of course, a lot of people don't want to reinstall Windows. It's a big task a lot of people don't have the know-how or the knowledge even though installing windows today is extremely easy compared to the past so one of the things they will try to do is you know have all of the software and clean up software to try to eradicate everything let me just tell you one thing here if malware is not removed by the windows security app and you still have something after the scan and removal from it. Don't waste your time downloading a million other malware removal software. It's very simple. Just the fact that the Windows security app cannot remove it is telling you that the only next real step that you should take is to completely reinstall Windows from scratch and erase your hard, your hard drive. That means and that's why we often talk about backups. Backup your files on other uh, means, you know, on media, like on USB thumb drives or, or you know, um, some still do, um, you know, backups on, on DVDs that they will actually burn. Um, external hard drives, cloud. That's the best thing that you can do because if you have a problem with malware, need to reinstall Windows, you have all your stuff. It doesn't matter. If you don't have a backup, that gets a lot more complex. And even a tech guy is going to tell you, look, you can't do miracles. As a tech guy, I don't know how many times I arrived on computers and I told him, look, you've got viruses and this, but you can't really back up now because if you... You know, plug in a hard drive, plug in whatever, the virus might actually infect the thumb drive, the hard drive, external hard drive, and uh, you're going to get the virus again and again. Uh, without a proper backup that's already been done before all of this happens, it's a very difficult task suddenly. And this can be time consuming. It can cost you a lot of money if you actually have to pay a tech guy for it. Um, so you better be safe than sorry, as we say being careful, never getting malware, and of course, backing up your files, and not just in case of viruses, backing up your files, because if anything happens to your PC, you have them somewhere else. It's not a problem.
My backup is done on OneDrive because I have a um, Microsoft 365 subscription and it gives me one terabyte of space. So I have ample space to back up everything in OneDrive. And of course, uh, depending on what you have, you can, you know, sometimes just using a USB thumb drive is um, enough. Remember that backups need to be outside of the PC and you need to keep what you have on your PC. A backup is at least two different places at the same time. Uh, too many people make the mistake of backing up on a hard drive, deleting it from the computer, and then one day they plug that external hard drive and it doesn't work and they lost everything because that's not a backup. A backup is two different physical locations, at least three even more. Interesting. Um, and like I said, if you do get malware, don't start downloading every tool you see on the internet to try to remove whatever you've got. This is a risk, and that risk has a lot of potential. It can steal passwords. It can, you know, uh, find all the information needed to steal your credit cards and your bank accounts, and so on. It is important to make sure you have no viruses on a system. Another reason it's important not to have a virus on your system, it can actually affect your friends and your family. Send itself by email, by Facebook Messenger, so on. Because it's you, they might click on it. They might get infected. They might lose money, have problems also. It's not just your problem. It's everybody's problem. So a clean install of Windows is the only sure way that the infection is gone. You format the hard drive, remove everything, and put a fresh new copy of Windows. It's the only way that you are sure that you have no more viruses in case of malwares on your system. Take the threat seriously. Like I said, it can affect your friends and your family, not just you. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.